Welcome back traders. In today's video, I will go over Strategy Quant X Algo Wizard advanced features for entries and exit. And we're starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and welcome to Statwaste channel where we talk about finance, investing, algo trading, and everything else in between. Basically, we want to grow our wealth, we want to grow our portfolio. If you are new to this channel, I would love to have you here, so make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss any of the daily videos that I post on this channel. Also, it would be amazing if you can smash the like button, share the video with others, as this will help me get the message out about building your wealth. Okay, so if you are a user of Strategy Quant X, really there are many advanced features that are not documented and nobody else know what to do with it. So today we'll dive into some advanced features about that. So first thing we will tackle is order types. So first to test the type of uh, order entries, we can see I just built a simple strategy, go long if the price closes above the SMA and go short when it goes below the SMA. And this is using TradeStation engine on the SPY daily. And if we run this strategy, we'll find that it's only gonna have one entry, whichever happened first. In this case, uh, the uh, short happened first and that's it. We we cannot exit. Actually, the exit will be the last day that we have on this date. So that's uh, July 14th. The way to do this, because the strategy context doesn't treat the opposite order as an exit, unless you tell it so. And you tell it so by doing a different order. So right now we're entering at market. And if we add another action, order open, enter reverse at market. So if I use this order instead of this one, enter at market. And I will go to the short entry, add open, enter reverse and by default it always defaults to long so make sure to do short and you can see it's going to change the color then we delete this one so now that uh, the uh, strategic quant x will treat the next order to close the opposite order so now we should have and we can check so we can see we're exiting April 17th. We enter on April 17th. We're exiting June 9th. We enter June 9th. We're exiting January 29th. We enter 29th. So it's working. And actually we can see it on the chart. So we can see we were in a long trade. Bar closes below moving average. We exit. And then at the same time we go short. And then bar closes above. We exit short, we enter long at the same time, and then bar closes below. We exit uh, the long and we enter short, and then again bar closes above. We exit short, we enter long, and then we are in a long until the next condition. So that is the first advanced uh, way to use AlgoZert, which is using different order types. Of course, there are other uh, order types like uh, stop and limit. And uh, most likely you know this, but we will go over an example. So if you want to use a breakout module, so let's say this is the bar, and you want to enter at this high when the price next day breaks this high. So that means this is a stop order. So a stop to go long, and also a stop to go short. So if the price breaks this level down, that's a stop short. If a price breaks this level going up, that's a stop long. Now also we can use limit orders, which is let's say the next day opened here and we're trading and I wanna get below this and buy to go long. So then that's a limit order. So limit to go long and also here limit to go short. So I want to wait for the price to hit this level before I short. So also here we have some advanced features, which is the order close bar. So let's take this scenario. So maybe I wanna go, this is yesterday's bar, and today I wanna go breakout. It's long breakout or short breakout. Of course, I don't know which one is gonna happen. So I have to put both orders. 
so this is stop to go long and this level is stop to go short so how can i make sure one of them only will hit i don't want both of them to trade so and i also don't know which one is gonna hit first or maybe none of them will hit so then i can have some orders to cancel so here we can order close close all pending orders that means this happens when i add this order so now i can add these and if i put them in brackets so that means with this signal and if i have a market position which is long or short then cancel all pending orders that means only when one when either of these hit then uh, exit also i can have uh, a time of day so let's say if the time of day so now i added the time of day so if i have a long position or a short posi position or the time is end of day for example this is 4 p.m eastern standard time then i want to cancel all, all orders and this can actually be before the end of day so let's say if it's uh, 2 p.m then that's it i, I don't i want to cancel all my orders so that means cancel all pending orders depending on the conditions you have also you can close all position at let's say for example end of day or you can close the most profitable position or the least profitable position now these orders are meant it's an advanced way to tackle uh, many positions open or many orders open on a single instrument or multiple instrument but you don't have enough cash or let's say you're ranking so you don't want to take all orders or for example you have just like we saw with the breakout you have long and short so of course you don't want to take both of them so if one happens then you want to cancel the other and those orders also are called uh, order cancel order so they are uh, OCO you might find the abbreviation for them but they are advanced way to manipulate your order type then we have other features for example if you go to other actions we can see that we can log the order to a file or actually we can send an email so let's say you're running this uh, on a server and now when the order happens when this signal happens you can send an email with a subject and a message again not all these features are supported in tradestation or metatrader or multichart it will give you here a warning that this is not supported so for example this block parameter is not supported in some trading engines click to learn more which is in this case is easy language of course in inside tradestation you can still uh, through their alert feature you can receive an email when an order happens okay so now we move to the exit uh, methods so of course you already know this is very easy exit after number of bars but then let's work with this so move stop loss to break even this can be a fixed value an atr based range in pips and a price level and what do those mean so for example let's say you had an order and you entered at the open here so this is the open you enter here now you have a stop loss but you don't want to move it to break even because you want to give the order some room to play so let's say you entered here at 422 so then your uh, order you will say okay if i make five dollars then i will move the stop to break even that means if i go down first i will not get stopped out i will wait until i am profitable until i move my stop to break even so that means the price has to go up to 427 which is somewhere around here so let's say for example on this bar this is 427 and then once this bar closes then i move my stop loss to break even which is this one and to illustrate this here so move stop to break even after a fixed number of pips so in this case uh, when we decided that it is five dollars then in stocks that will be five hundred pips because one pip is one tick which is one cent in stocks but also you can set it as an atr based value 
So for example, if I enter here now, my ATR at this point is 305. So that means my ATR is $3 because th this is a stock, an ETF stock, it's in dollars. So if my ATR is $3, then I might say, okay, instead of $5, I will go with whatever the volatility at the time is. So I will go maybe one and a half, the 20 day ATR. So if my entry here and the ATR value here is $3 or five, that means 1.5 times 305, which equals 4575. So that means my stop loss currently is my break even is when I make roughly a four and a half dollars. And then we have a range in pips and that can also be calculated using a formula. So for example, I can use a formula. So let's say I bring the uh, minus function. So now the formula is range in pips. And in this case, I'm calculating the close minus the 50 day moving average. So whatever that value is in pips, it will be translated as my uh, move to stop loss to break even. And I can illustrate that here. So this is the space. So whatever the space between the close and the moving average. So for example, this is the close and this is the moving average. So this space will translate in pips. Let's say this one is, I don't know, 400 pips, which is $4. And then that will translate to the moving stop loss. And finally, we have a price level. And this price level will be calculated. So for example, this could be the price. Let's, let's say here we can go the, so in this case, lowest low past 10 bars. So when I enter here, what's the lowest low in past 10 bars? For example, it will be in this case, this one. And this will be my, uh, my price level to move to uh, break even okay so you can see that we can do a lot of stuff i mean i didn't even get into variables once you can introduce variables into the mix instead of the close you can have a variable based on another formula or another indicator the rsi or whatever you want so really it's very very flexible but yet very simple to implement without any programming knowledge the profit target is actually exactly what we discussed in the move stop loss to break even. The move stop loss to break even, profit target and stop loss, they all use these four criteria, and you can build on top of them. Now trailing stop, it's a little bit different. So yes, in trailing stop, we have the same four values, but also we have an activation level. Okay, so let's say we entered here and we want, uh, for example, a one and a half trailing stuff one and a half dollar trailing stuff so of course if i put it right away then most likely i will get stopped out so i want to uh, activate this when i am let's say five dollars profitable already and then i want a tight trailing stuff then i will activate it at 427 and then we will start trailing so most likely it will start here and then it will keep going up until it's probably gonna hit on this bar so these are very powerful features in algo wizard and it uh, makes it a lot easier to do advanced uh, modifiers or advanced orders or advanced exits by just point and click and mixing all of them also of course uh, we didn't touch that you can add conditions on top of these so you can only activate the trailing stop or the uh, modifiers or the uh, break even uh, or the profit target you can also add conditions when this happens so for example you can say only when i have two orders long then activate the trailing stop so for the people who are programmers or for everyone who likes to tinker this is like a dream come true because you can just point and click and come with i don't know hundreds a thousand variations but really it's a very nice way to test because at the end of the day here whatever you do you can just click full test and then you will see what the effect of whatever you did great you made it to the end i know it's uh, all advanced features but really they are very easy to use it's just point and click for the people who are not programmers and of course for the programmers they can go and check what's happening inside the code when you do these things as always i'm open to questions through the comments below through directly through email or by joining the Discord through the Patreon link down below. Of course, I also welcome all comments, 
not doesn't have to be questions spread the love on the comment page i really appreciate that uh, too and as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon